this experiment we're going to be looking at the effects of pH on enzyme activity. Hydrogen peroxide is very toxic to both the body and the environment. It needs an enzyme called catalase to break it down into water and to oxygen. Catalase is found in all organisms that breathe oxygen. This enzyme facilitates the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide, a toxic byproduct of the body, into water and oxygen. The reaction of catalase in the decomposition of living tissue is this. So this here is a symbol, so 2H2O means two molecules of water. And in the reaction with catalase, it can break it up two molecules of hydrogen peroxide, sorry. And with the reaction of catalase, can become two molecules of water and also a molecule of oxygen. Catalase has one of the highest turnover numbers of all enzymes. One molecule of catalase can convert 40 million molecules of hydrogen peroxide to water and oxygen each second. To prevent damage in cells and tissues, hydrogen peroxide must be quickly converted into other less dangerous substances. So catalase is the enzyme that rapidly catalyzes the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide into less reactive substances, such as gaseous oxygen and water molecules. The effects of pH. So the optimum pH for human catalase is approximately seven and has a fairly broad maximum. So the rate of reaction does not change too much at levels um, beyond like 6.8 and 7.5. It has a bit more of a range. You can see here at neutral, this enzyme catalase works quite nicely on the substrate. However, with and with weak acidic conditions and weak basic conditions, this enzyme is still able to work. It's as soon as you give it strong acidic conditions or strong basic conditions, the enzyme will denature and not work to its function. Sources of catalase include raw sliced potato, ground meat and liver. Now a hypothesis. When catalase, which is an enzyme, is added to a medium higher or lower pH. Now when I'm saying medium, I'm talking about a solution. So when it's added to a lower or higher pH outside its optimum pH range, the enzyme will denature and therefore not perform its function of converting hydrogen peroxide into water and oxygen. This here is a diagram of how the experiment's going to work. You have a beaker here, and this here that you're dropping into the beaker is actually a piece of paper dipped with catalase. So the materials that you need here are hydrogen peroxide, which is the liquid in that solution, the paper immersed with catalase, you need pH 4, 7 and 10 solution, beakers and a stopwatch. <clears throat> You place the catalase paper in pH 4. Using a stopwatch, determine how long it takes for the reaction to take place. Repeat steps 1 to 2 with catalase in solutions of pH 7 and 10. You record all results in a table and draw a graph of the results. What do you think will be the results? Pause here to write down what you think may happen in this experiment results. Now in the pH of 4, there was no reaction. The enzyme has completely denatured. In a pH of 7, which the enzyme likes around about that pH, the fastest, it's the fastest reaction in this experiment at 90 seconds to be completed. A pH of 10, there was a slower reaction, but it took five minutes to complete. It still actually worked at the pH of 10, but not to its optimum function. Now, this here is a graph that actually demonstrates this. You can see at the pH optimum is around about seven, and at pH of four, there is no enzyme activity. At pH of 10, you can see it's just a little bit of enzyme activity, so it's still able to work in this pH of 10. So what do you think the results show? Did your results support your hypothesis? And are your results valid? Could this experiment be improved? And name any safety precautions with this experiment. Because the pH 10 still achieved a reaction, the enzyme did perform in this pH level. The enzyme may be able to withstand varying pH levels, however it performs the best 
at pH 7 and doesn't perform at all in pH 4. This is with all enzymes. Each enzyme will work at a specific level of pH. Some have a more broader spectrum like this enzyme, but some are very specific and can only work within a very limited pH range. Okay, this concludes pH.